Once there was a very rich merchant called Nadok. As time went by, he lost all his money because business was bad. Not only did he lose all the money, but he also got into debt. That wasn't very nice. Nadok was very unhappy. He did not want to stay in the city any longer. He wanted to leave the town. So he sold all his belongings and settled all his debts and then decided to leave the town. The only thing of any value left with him was a very heavy iron beam. He went to see his friend Lakshman. Lakshman was pleased to see him, but very sad to hear of his misfortune. Is there anything I can do for you, my friend? Well, I have a very heavy iron beam that I would like to leave with you. Will you keep it for me until I return? Is that all? Of course I'll keep it for you. You can be sure that the beam will be quite safe with me. I shall return it whenever you want it. Naduk went home. A few days later, he left town. Many years passed. He traveled far and wide. He was a good businessman and he made a lot of money, plenty of money. And then he decided he was going to come back to his own hometown. He returned and bought himself a very nice house. He also set up a very big business. Then he went to see his friend Lakshman. Lakshman was very pleased to see him and welcomed him. They talked about his business and his travels. Just as Naduk was about to leave. Now that I'm here, may I have my iron beam back? I don't know how to tell you this. Something bad has happened. I put the beam safely in my storeroom, but now I find mice have eaten it. I'm really sorry. Beams of that kind are hard to find, or I would have bought you another one. Please, don't feel bad about it. It was not your fault that the mice ate up my beam. This just goes to show that nothing lasts forever. By the way, Lakshman, I have a present for you which I bought during my travels. Will you ask your son Ramu to come home with me? I'll send him back with it. Lakshman felt very guilty now. First of all, he'd got away with that lie. And secondly, Naduk had brought him a present, but he really wanted to know what the present was. So he called his son Ramu. Ramu went with Naduk. Naduk took Ramu to his house. He led him to the cellar and he locked the door. Then Naduk went about doing his work. Afternoon went by and evening came. Ramu didn't return. So Lakshman got very worried and he set out looking for his son. When he saw Naduk, he said, Before I could do anything. What? A hawk swooped down 
and carried off Rama before I could do anything. That's a lie! How can a bird carry off a 15 year old boy? And they began to quarrel. And as they began to quarrel, they began to raise their voices and they began to shout with each other. Suddenly, a crowd of people gathered round, all waiting to hear what was happening. That's a lie! That's a lie! said Lakshman. And then they decided to go to the court. they entered the court, Lakshman saw the magistrate and he began to cry. Your Honour, this man has stolen my son. Please ask him to give me back my boy. You, you must give his son back. But how can I, sir, when before my very eyes a hawk carried off the boy? You're a liar! How can a bird carry off a boy? Liar! Liar! Well, if the mice at Lakshmi's place can eat up an iron beam, then surely a hawk can carry off a boy. Tell me the whole story! So Naduk told the whole story. And when he finished the story, everybody in the court was laughing. They laughed and they laughed. And then the magistrate looked at Lakshmi and he said, Return the iron beam to Naduk. And he looked at Naduk and he said, Return Ramu, his son, to Lakshmi. And so you see, in the end, the problem has been solved. Thank you.